because you are going to become planning engineer and for this reason you have to uh, understand Primavera P6 dashboard in very effective way. So I will share with you Primavera P6 dashboard to make you understand uh, in a very easiest way. You can see Primavera P6 dashboard over here. There are few uh, you can see over here uh, icons. You can have some commands, file, edit, view, project, enterprise, tools, admin, help. Okay. So now each one of these commands, if I'll click like on file, you will be given drop down window in which there are more new options like new open page setup edit view you can enhance your this window like this way it's very simple thing first you have to understand how it will be operated so like this way and uh, there are the same uh, options are repeated over here okay and these are the images icons same these options are also given over here so now I will give you one more thing that there is right side vertical column, left side vertical column and there is one right side vertical column. So uh, in the downside you can see there is one window, activities window and there is one calendar having time scale window and in this you can see on the left side there are some descriptions it would be called as activities window and on your uh, right side there is bar chart area so it's very simple to understand now i will share with you one thing you can eliminate options whatever you want from over this portion and you can add some required options here as well how you can right click on this area like this way here is you can just find you just this is not clicked on you can see there are few options added and then like this way display just uh, make concentration on this area I will just uncheck from here you will see something is will be disappeared see this one is disappeared so uh, this that is the way you can see edit from here it is gone so again I will re make like this way okay so this is the way this window will be operated this is actually basic thing i'm going to share with you guys uh, with the passage of this course i'm going to share more features uh, of course uh, one by one so you can understand but it is only the familiarity i uh, i wanted to share with you guys so that you can have very friendly um, you know uh, introduction with primavera p6 so that is a dashboard so now again i'll get back to this slide and uh, next thing we are going to have today file development whenever you are going to project plan on primavera p6 the basic thing you have to do is to make your project prof uh, file in primavera p6 so uh, whenever you are going to talk about Primavera P6, even you are fresh engineer, mid career level engineer, first time you are going to operate Primavera P6, the basic thing I want to convey you guys to understand the commands, you have to go by flowcharts. So whenever you have to make a new project file, I'm going to give you an example. Okay, so you have to click on file in your header and then there is new command is given over there and then there is uh, whenever you are giving uh, clicking on this option you will be given a new window and then in this window you have to provide few informations to Primavera P6 for sake of development of new project file for example name of new project dates whenever your project is going to start is going to end then project manager name then department name is there and then there are rate assignments this these are some formalities I'm going to follow all these things as per uh, this flowchart and you will see how to uh, simply develop a new project file simply click on this file and new here is a new give, uh, window is given over here you have to uh, you know pick one of the given departments uh, like this is automatically given over here you can also make uh, eps means enterprise project structure enterprise project structure means like i will give you an example whenever you are studying in engineering university you have uh, observed this thing there were few more departments like civil engineering department electrical engineering departments and mechanical engineering department all these departments were educational uh, structure for your university same way if you have uh, are working in some company there are different departments like uh, purchasing department maintenance department planning department reliability department so every department 
uh, having specific name so here you can um, develop uh, if you have missing some uh, department name you can um, develop by your own as well i will uh, give you instructions later on as well on this feature so just give me uh, a moment i'll just assign let's say there is manufacturing i'll just assign this department to this project because this project i'm going to work on is uh, belongs to the eps of manufacturing next simple my project is shutdown project or oil and gas project whatever the name of your project and your project name will be given in your project contracts okay so let's say shutdown turnaround outage program the full name over here shutdown project i'm just having simply name of project like this way then next okay the, i have already actually the same project name so i need to give some unique name like sto2 like this way let's see okay that's fine now your project when your project is going to start that is also given in your project contract documents so let's say my project is going to start from july 2022 okay 20th july 2022 and i'm going to select and from this window you can go back like this way like and once you will click on this one easily you can switch your ears like this way okay so i'm going to assign july 20 select okay and uh, whenever you are going to make your project file never provide your project finish date at this stage because it will provide constraint to your project and there can be some misconception uh, while calculation of your project float.